On today's video, we're going to talk about getting started in ice fishing or ice fishing for beginners. Hey there outdoor YouTubers, it's Dave Knetter from Knetter's Practical Outdoors and you know like I said earlier today's video is going to be about kind of getting started in ice fishing or ice fishing for beginners. At the beginning of this video we're going to talk about kind of the bare minimum uh, equipment that you're going to need to get out on the ice and give it a try and I think we can kind of get you outfitted for less than a hundred dollars and get you out on the ice and trying to catch some fish. And then later on in the video We'll even talk about, you know, for some of you guys that maybe don't mind spending a little bit more money or maybe you uh, really did enjoy ice fishing that first time so you want to maybe take it to the next level. It's all sorts of stuff you can spend your money on when it comes to uh, ice fishing, that's for sure. So we'll touch on shelters, we'll touch on power augers, electronics, you know, fish finders and, you know, underwater cameras. We'll just touch on those things a little bit too. Knetter's Practical Outdoors is brought to you by Camaro's Crawler's Bait Shop. If you're looking to get some live bait, Camaro's Crawler's sells live bait. To get started in ice fishing, you are going to need an auger or maybe even a chisel, something to cut a hole in the ice. This auger right here, this is an Eskimo auger. It's really been an awesome auger for me. It works really good and it was very inexpensive. I think I paid like $37 or $39 for this auger. This auger is a six inch. That means it cuts a six inch hole. And that's a good enough hole for a lot of the fishing that you're gonna do. Now, if you do believe that you might get some larger fish, you know, maybe some bigger walleyes, pike, maybe even some bigger bass, you know, I would recommend maybe going to an eight inch. Here's an eight inch. I think it was just about the same price, but you know, the downside to going to the eight inch is it's gonna be more work to cut your holes. The six inch will be good enough for a lot of the fishing you're gonna do. Small trout, panfish, perch, you know, maybe the lake you're gonna fish has a reputation for the walleyes being a little bit on the smaller side. Six inch auger would be good enough for a lot of that, but like I said, eh, if you think you might get a nicer fish, you might wanna go with eight inch. Now, fortunately for me, I very seldom catch big fish through the ice. So, a six inch auger is usually plenty enough for the ice fishing that I do. Now, I also mentioned a chisel, okay? Or an ice spud, and that's what this is. Just a bar, kind of a sharp end, okay? And you just kind of chisel open holes. Now, I have chiseled many holes through 20 plus inches of ice with a chisel in my youth. I would not recommend it for most people. It's, uh, it's quite a workout to chisel a hole in the ice. But the chisel can be good for reopening existing holes. If you're going to be fishing on a lake that, you know, is pretty frequented by other fishermen and you can probably count on heading out there and finding some holes from the day before or something, you can just walk up to them and a lot of times you can just kind of chisel open that one inch layer of ice that might be on a existing hole from the day before. So it works pretty good for that. Another thing that the chisel is good for is checking the thickness of the ice. And, and I do want to uh, go right into that. You know, if you're new to ice fishing, some people say, well, you know, two inches, you know, of good solid ice, which is usually kind of clear ice. The grayer ice is usually a little bit iffier ice. But some guys will say, hey, two inches, that's fine. It's good solid ice. That'll hold a person. And, and, and it will. You know, I have been out on two inches, but I don't like it. I am much more of like a five inch guy, okay? I like to have a good solid five inches of ice before I go walking out on there. So a chisel, you know, like I say, if you're new to ice fishing, a chisel is excellent. You just walk out from the shore five, six feet and kind of chunk, 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 chunk kind of see how much ice you got, you know, before you proceed, right? You know, because you do not want to go out there and fall through the ice. 
All right, that is uh, no good. You want to avoid that. So, you know, always take a lot of precautions with ice fishing, right? Make sure the ice is good and thick. Like I say, five inches of clear ice is awesome. And also keep in mind that if you walk out from the landing and you chisel down or you auger down and you see, oh yeah, we got a good five inches, don't just necessarily go taking off and assume there's five inches everywhere. Ice thickness can be different in different parts of the lake. So if you're the first one out on the lake, be very, very cautious. Check the ice conditions as you go. If you start off, you got a good five inches. Maybe only go another 10 feet, check it again. You know, maybe then you can start going 20 feet. You know, you just kind of have to feel your way through it. So you can check the ice thickness with your chisel. You can check it with your auger. And you know, another thing that's not gonna hurt to buy because it's pretty cheap are these picks. A lot of guys will wear these right around their neck when they're walking out on the ice and they kind of come apart like this. They got these sharp picks on them and if you were to fall through the ice you can use these to kind of grab and work your way back up out of the water and get back up on the ice. So we're going to include this in our uh, kind of our bare minimum to get started ice fishing. And now a very important announcement from Camaro's Crawlers. Attention ice fishermen, come on down to Camaro's Crawlers for all your ice fishing bait needs. My friend Ronnie Camaro, the owner of Camaro's Crawlers, has a full line of minnows for the ice fishermen. He has shiners, he has suckers, he has fatheads, and in a Camaro's Crawlers exclusive, he has the mystery minnow tank. Okay, and for five bucks, you get a net this size. And for five bucks, you just take one scoop in there, and whatever you get, you get, okay? The mystery minnow tank is the tank where Ronnie's pro staffer mom, you know, uh, Ronnie's mom works at the bait shop. Um, the mystery minnow tank is the tank that Ronnie's pro staffer mom didn't have time to sort through. So there's just kind of a variety of minnows in that particular tank. So for five bucks, you get one scoop in the mystery minnow tank, and whatever you get, you get. And, and, you know, this net, it's pretty big, you know, for five bucks, that's a good amount of minnows. Oh, but you don't know what you're going to get. You might get a bunch of perch-sized minnows. You might get a bunch of big suckers for pike. You might get a combination of the two. You might get a bunch of dead bait. Who knows? It's the mystery minnow tank. Camaro's Crawlers also carries all your bugs and grubs for your panfish and your trout. Ronnie has waxworms, mousies, spikes maggots, wigglers, snails, termites, roaches, ringworm, and wood ticks. Ronnie's also running a special for Kinetter's Practical Outdoor viewers only. If you go down to Camaro's Crawlers and spend over $10, Ronnie will throw in a free Camaro's Crawlers tip-up hole cover, right? You guys have seen these before, right? Kind of put them around your tip-up like this. And when you set your tip up down in the hole, this nice cover keeps the hole from freezing up, right? Mm -hmm. And I know Ronnie put in a real big order to get a bunch of these, so he's not going to run out anytime soon. And I, I think by a big order, I just mean, you know, he gave his uh, pro staffer mom some cardboard and some scissors and had her cut these out. But I know, like, uh, Ronnie's girlfriend, uh, she did the graphics for these. You know, they're pretty cool. And, and they're all hand done, so they're all kind of unique. You know, they're kind of like collector's items. I don't know, I, I think this one uh, came from a pizza box. But anyways, head on down to Camaro's Crawlers for all your ice fishing bait needs. And if you spend over $10, you're going to get yourself a free Camaro's Crawlers tip-up hole cover. We're out on the lake. We're on good, safe ice. We get to the spot that we want to fish and we drill a few holes. Now the next thing that we're going to need is a skimmer. And all that is is kind of one of these uh, scoop like things and it's for kind of scooping ice chips out of your hole and get your hole nice and clear with just water in it. And, and these are real super cheap too. You know it's only going to be five eight bucks for one of these. Come in a few different styles. This is uh, kind of the pro model here got a little point there I think that's for maybe chipping some really thin ice um, off of an existing hole maybe when it starts to freeze and it's also got a uh, tape measure across here for measuring fish so this is kind of the pro deluxe model and these skimmers or scoops also work great for removing mice from a bucket trap 
So we got our auger, we got our skimmer, you know, we've got our safety spikes. It's just a good thing to have too. So we got our holes in the ice. Now it's time to start fishing, right? So we're probably going to want some kind of a jig pole. Now, the most basic jig pole is something like this. And I'll tell you, this really is a very functioning, decent setup to buy for ice fishing. Okay, Something like this is, is maybe 8 or 10 bucks. Now, if you want to spend a little bit more, you can get some nice little uh, setups like this. You know, nice little spinning reels on them. You know, really good for jigging panfish, trout, bass, walleyes. Here's another one. Uh, a setup like this, a combo like this, might be anywhere from twenty to forty dollars. Okay, so if you don't mind spending a little extra money, these are great for jigging through the ice. Now, for me, included in the bare minimum package to head out ice fishing, I would also include a tip up. Now, you don't have to buy a tip up, but for a lot of the ice fishing I do, they do come in handy. Okay, so what's a tip up? Well, here is a tip up. And, you know, without getting into too many details, what this is, is you drill a hole, you let the line down out of this tip up, it's got a flag, okay, and it kind of is left sort of remotely, and when a fish takes it, it spins this spool, turns this T at the top, and the flag pops up. Then the fish has a, a free spool to run with, you walk over or run over to the tip up, hook the fish, pull them in, catch the fish. In a nutshell, that's kind of how these work. And, you know, these can range anywhere from 10 to $40. And it's kind of nice to have one or two with you. They're not too expensive. You know, I would recommend including that in your bare minimum package. And I think, you know, between the auger, a jig pole, a skimmer, our picks, and a tip-up, I still think we can kind of come in under $100 and get you out ice fishing. Now, some of you guys might say, okay, well... What about a sled to pull all this stuff in? Okay, well, we're trying to keep it kind of to the bare minimum, but I, I kind of know what you're thinking, right? You gotta carry this stuff out somehow, and all you can do is just get a five gallon bucket like this, right? I got a few tip ups in this one, and some different tackle down in the bottom. Take a five gallon bucket like this, throw your tip up, your jig pull, your skimmer, you know, maybe put the picks around your neck. Carry this in one hand, carry the auger in the other, and walk out onto the ice and then this bucket can actually act as a seat for you when you're out there too okay and I'm not even going to include the price of a bucket because I think most of you guys got a five gallon bucket laying around all the stuff that I'm talking about in this video we're kind of skimming over it kind of quick just to kind of give you a basic overview of what it might take to get you started in ice fishing but all the things that I've been talking about I do have other videos that get much more in depth with them okay now like the tip up we talked about if you've never used a tip up of course this isn't really a tutorial on tip up fishing but I have several tip up videos you can go to my channel Kinetter's Practical Outdoors okay go to the ice fishing tip up playlist and you'll see a lot of videos on how to use tip ups alright and even these jig poles I do have a video on you know my favorite type of jig pole for panfish fishing and I do have a handful of videos on using and maintaining hand augers, okay? Because if you use hand augers the wrong way or kind of abuse them, you can really make them inefficient, okay? So if you're going to run out and purchase a hand auger, you might want to check out those videos too. And I will leave a link in the description below this video that will bring you to that tip-up ice fishing playlist that I have at my channel, okay? So if you want any more details on any of this ice fishing stuff, be sure to check that out. Now as far as specifically like what are you going to be fishing for and what lure should you be using and what live bait should you be using and what size minnow should you use below your tip ups if you're going to be fishing for this or that I would seek out that information from some knowledgeable fishermen okay maybe you got some friends family co-workers head down to the local bait shop you know uh, they'll be more than happy to give you some information and of course you know sell you some products too but uh, you know that's going to be very local to where you're going to be fishing and again seek out knowledgeable fishermen to help you get started in that department now real quick if you want to spend more money than a hundred bucks 
that's fantastic too okay there is all sorts of things you can get right there's all kinds of fantastic shelters the shelters they make these days are just great they have this you know this hub style shelter they set up in like 30 seconds and boom you got a nice enclosure and you're fishing okay the heaters that they make these days just work fantastic propane heaters you know the the buddy or little buddy brand uh, I have several different ones of those they work great keep it nice and warm be in your shelter um, you know ice fishing does not have to be suffering that's for sure not in this day and age yeah and then the electronics that they're making today to fish with are just fantastic too fish finders work great you know if you're going to be out doing a lot of jigging it really is nice to have a fish finder um, you know it, it's going to cost some money but boy they are they are nice to have when you're fishing um, you're sitting there jigging you know if you're jigging or you, you're using that fish finder along with your jigging you can see the bottom you can see your lure you can see the fish when they come in they really do work nice and they really do help you catch more fish um, and underwater cameras those can be just awesome too. get those set up you can get them pointing at your bait you can see the fish come in sometimes you won't even feel light biting fish but if you see them uh, take your bait on the camera you know when to set the hook they're also making awesome sleds okay to pull out on the ice maybe behind a snowmobile maybe you just walk out with them nice high sided deep sleds that can hold all your gear relatively inexpensive and then they also have sleds that have ice shacks built into them and and those set up in seconds too these flip over shacks you just kind of flip this tent essentially over you a lot of times you wind up sitting down right in the sled they have seats in them just uh fantastic products they make for ice fishing these days no doubt about it and again if you're willing to spend the money there's never been as many options for power augers as there is today gas propane and now the electric augers all work really well the battery technology has really advanced uh, your options with power augers very lightweight and they cut through a lot of ice in between charges a lot of devices that can help you catch more fish make it more comfortable to be out on the ice and if you got the money to do it hey go for it because I'll tell you you know if you're thinking about ice fishing that means you're probably at least living or visiting in a northern climate where you have cold weather and short days and you know you got to get outside and do something right guys and ice fishing is just an excellent way to get out and enjoy the great outdoors all right guys hey remember to hunt fish laugh repeat this is Dave Knetter from Knetter's Practical Outdoors hey thanks for watching and God bless oh hey you stayed till the end I must have done something right.